bringing in digital health, bringing in health technologies uh, requires a huge mindset change even when working with physicians, um, let alone patients. So for us, uh, when, when we are thinking, when we are developing our solution, we always have an end user in mind. Um, keeping in mind uh, what they want, what they like, um, how they work, um, how they uh, how they feel, what's the patient journey, how how are we actually going to reach them, um, and that's been playing into our product every step of the way. There were two elements in, in, in building our, our product that we did. Is one is that um, we were very responsive to and listened a lot to to our customers, and then we didn't force our, our product onto our customers. When we realised that there were some changes that were needed, we actually held back on the final launch of our product went back to the drawing board, redesigned everything again, and then went through to do our soft launch. And I think it really made a big difference because we've sort of differentiated ourselves by really understanding what the problem is um, and solving that problem. So we did a project with a Swedish uh, company, with uh, Rumble in Sweden, where people, a lot of people cycle to work. And so we produced with them an application that allows people to check what is the cleanest route for them to get to work. And by looking at what are the exposure levels across, say, the three quickest routes to work, they could also choose which one was the cleanest. So when we developed a new feature, and we don't just develop technology for the sake of developing technology. When we develop a, a certain feature which is based on new technology, we try it at very early stages to make sure that it actually answers a real need and can really bring value. And during this time, we will also fine tune different aspects of this feature and this product or technology. So for us, the key is to be in, in we would say, di zero distance from our end users and our, in our, in the market. In addition, we work with companies such as ALK who produce over-the-counter allergy medicine. And they wanted to give as much information as they could to their customers. So they built a specialized app for seasonal allergy sufferers where they could see what are the causes, the symptoms, but also on a daily basis check what is the level of pollen and pollution. This really helped them to increase engagement with the app and make the app much more significant for their users and get a better relationship with, with their customers.